your knee, etc. And hands used as minerals. Okay, they are using as what? They are used as minerals. Okay, or what we can say? They are having what? Rich contained minerals. So that is having caps. Okay. So now we have already seen monera. Then what we see in kingdom Vesta. Then we have to come on kingdom fungi. Okay. So come on that fungi. What we seen in kingdom monera that is containing mostly bacteria group in protista they are having photosynthetic proteins then connecting link between plants and animals living walls then slime molds we seen protozoans we seen okay now this is what this is a unique organisms these uh, kingdom contains what unique kingdom of heterotrophic organisms so what i told this kingdom contain unique featured Heterotrophic unit Okay, what I told this kingdom contain what unique featured organism that are having heterotrophic in nature. Okay, now they show a great diversity in morphology as well as habitat means external structure also and the placement. So what we can show they are showing they show a great morphological diversity and habitat. They are showing what morphological, great morphological diversity and habitat. Now, some unicellular fungi also there that is no that uh, one example is there is so that yeast are used to make bread and beer what i told some unicellular fungi like yeast Preparation of bread and beer. Okay, they are used as what? Bread and beer. And you have to remember that most kingdom fungi are multicellular. But yeast is the fungi that is unicellular. So unicellular fungi like yeast used in preparation of bread and beer. Okay. Now other fungi doing what? Other fungi causes diseases in plants and animals. in plants and animals okay other fungi doing what causes diseases in plants and animals okay 
now we also seen that rust wheat rust fungi that is auxinia so that wheat rust causing auxinia is an important example that is what that causes loss to wheat so the point i told causing fungi oxenia yields huge loss of wheat product now if one from Time questions are also Coccinia graminis. Okay, so this you have to remember that the Coccinia graminis fungi causes what? Wheat rust disease. Okay, wheat rust graminis causing fungi. Which one is that? Coccinia graminis. Okay, but some are also important. So some fungi. Are the source of antibiotic, just for example, penicillin. Some fungi are the source of antibiotics. For example, penicillin. is the first antibiotic that we will use in the second world war okay so some fungi are the source of what antibiotic that is penicillin and that uh, stepped from penicillium notatum okay now this fungi are cosmopolitan in nature that means it found in air water land soil animals plants everywhere fungi are cosmopolitan in nature that means it founds everywhere Is found everywhere. That's why it's known as what it is. Nature having cosmopolitan, found every where. That's why it is known as cosmopolitan in nature. Okay, but they prefer to grow in warm and humid places. They prefer. Places okay, these fungi where they want to prefer growing in warm, humid places. Okay, now if we are seeing that unicellular organism or unicellular fungi is apart from that, all are what I told multicellular. Okay, but these fungi bodies consist long slender thread like structure and that is called hyphae so fungi body containing hmm. 
Slender line structure. That is known as hyphen. Known as hyphen like that. You have me? So it is what hyphen. Now, if this hyphen, if this hyphen contained a network, that is known as a mycelium. The network of hyphae is known as mycelia. So many networks are there. Okay. So that is known as what? Mycelia. If long slender like a structure there, that is known as hyphae. And a group of hyphae is known as what? Mycelium. Okay. Now, some fungi contain multinucleated form. Okay. Some fungi have you here, or what we can say, some hyphae of fungi contain what? Multinucleated cytoplasm. Some hyphae of fungi. Contain multinucleated cytoplasm known as cenocytic. This term many times will come. Okay, so known as what? Cenocytic. So that is nothing but only what they are having multinucleated. Cytoplasm. Okay. Now, if we are seeing that their cell wall, the cell wall of fungi are composed of chitin and polysaccharide. What I told? The cell wall of fungi composed of chitin. And polysaccharide. Okay, this you have to remember that the fungi cell wall has a special structure known as chitin. So it is made up of what? Chitin. Okay. Now, what I told most of the fungi depends on dead and decay organic matter or soluble matter and that's why they are known as saprophytes you have to come on that most of the fungi Depends on dead and decay soluble organic matter for their food and hence known as saprophytes. Mostly fungi are what? Saprophytes. Why? Because they depend on dead and decay or gay nozzle. Okay. Some also showing parasitic nature. Okay, some showing parasitic nature. They also showing symbiotic nature. So some are parasitic to Plants and animals. Some fungi are symbionts. Fungi are showing symbiotic association. Okay. Now, the 
what are the examples that come in that so just for example lichen so lichen is what fungi plus algae if we are seeing mycorrhizae or mycorrhiza so it is what the roots of higher plants and fungi okay so this is the what this is the related with the features of kingdom fungi next we will see the reproduction in fungi and what are the roots they are having 